hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm sharing with you all my recipe for an amazing delicious and very easy curry fish recipe you all are going to definitely want to try this after i show you how easy this one is to put together so let's jump into the recipe and start with seasoning our fish so to my fish and i'm using pompano fish i'm going in with some fish seasoning this is going to help enhance the flavor of this curry next goes in salt and black pepper next some freshly grounded green seasoning the recipe can be found down below in my description box and you're going to give that a good mix you want to massage those seasonings really well into the fish but don't break up the fish be very careful when you're mixing it Set it aside to marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. After it's finished marinating, then we'll go ahead on to frying our fish. So you're going to take your pieces and I'm using flour that I seasoned with salt and black pepper. You can use plain flour if you like. Shake off the excess and then this goes into your frying pan and you're going to fry this on a medium high heat until it's nice and golden brown on the outside. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through because we're going to double cook this in our curry sauce. So just allow the fish to fry until they're nice and golden brown. And once they're golden, take them out of the hot oil. Place them on a paper towel to drain properly. your perfect they look set that aside and let's start our fire so I'm using my fire side here if you don't have a fire side you can use this and make this on your stove so place your pot and to your pot add in your oil once your oil comes up to temperature and it's nice and hot Add in your meaty or fenugreek seeds and your cumin seeds. Allow those to toast until they turn dark brown in color. The fireside gives your food a really smoky and delicious flavor you wouldn't get from a stove. So now, once those seeds are brown, go in with your aromatic. I have scallions, onions, pimento pepper, and some celery. We're going to sort it out until the onions are light brown in color. Next, we're going to add some minced garlic. You add the garlic after because you don't want to burn the garlic. The onion takes longer to brown. So allow that to fry in there for about 40 seconds. After which, you'll go in with your 9 spice curry powder. That's what I'm using today. A very flavorful and delicious curry powder. And I'm also using some of the Caribbean flavors, duck curry powder. I like to mix both because I think that when you cook fish, I like more of a darker curry. So I like mixing it. If you don't, you can use only nine spices. Give that a mix and allow it to toast for about a minute. Once it feels green, go in with enough water. And here we to give that a mix and allow it to start to cook. The curry is going to start to thicken. If you're doing this on your stove, you want your heat to be on a medium. Add in some green seasoning and mix that in. Now to enhance the flavor even further, I'm adding in some of that fish seasoning into the curry itself. We're carrying in all of those flavors throughout this recipe. To give that a good mix and this fries for about a minute to two until you start seeing the oils separating from the curry like you're seeing here that's how you'll know your curry is ready give it a mix and now we're going to add in water we're going to add enough water to create a sauce. So you can add as much or as little as you want. And we're going to allow this to come up to a simmer. 
I don't like my sauce too runny and I don't like it too thick. So you would find the correct or the perfect balance that suits you. To this, I'm going to go with a few pieces of half ripe mango and a few pieces of tamarind or tamron. This is going to add that nice acidic element or that sour element that we like. Now, goes in some chopped tomatoes, some fine thyme, sliced onions, and give that a mix. Allow that to cook in there for about one minute. You just want everything to get tender. So allow it to come up to a simmer. That tamron is going to release that sour into the liquid itself. After which, you'll go in with your slices of fried fish. Just nestle those into the sauce. Now remember, we partially cooked the fish. So all you'll need after you put in your fish here, it's going to take about three to four minutes and then this would be ready. You don't need to overcook it because your fish, as I said, is halfway cooked. So nestle those in really well, making sure that both sides are coated in that delicious curry. Let it come up to a simmer, cook it for three to four minutes, and then it will be ready to be served. What you want to do is taste and adjust your salt accordingly. Make sure you have enough sauce in there to your likeness and it's at the good consistency you would like. So all you have to do is serve this. You could serve it on a plate of white rice or boil and fried provision. Today I'm serving it with jasmine rice, my favorite way to eat this. Look how delicious and amazing this looks. And the fish is not mashed up. It's so perfect and intact and that's how you want your fish so guys i hope you all enjoyed today's recipe make it comment down below and let me know what you think thank you all so much for watching if you're new to my channel i hope you subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye everyone